weigh in on that on Friday, and he essentially contradicted our uh, Redfield statements. Take a listen. Well, Dr. Redfield was mentioning that he was giving an opinion as to a possibility, but again, there are other alternatives, uh, no. others that most people uh, no. hold on. Uh, no. Okay, here's the fact. The Wuhan lab was funded by Anthony Fauci as a way to offshore the risk of, of gain of function, which is a fancy word for creating man-made viruses. So, Anthony Fauci started this highly controversial process of making viruses more deadly in his NIH labs. It, he had to write an op-ed uh, just to get permission for it, and then President Obama shut it down in 2014, and then he took advantage of the chaos and the Trump administration and restarted. Okay, so this virus, the, the, the coronavirus, uh, and many others have come from his lab, okay? The, his labs have a horrible track record of leaks and accidents, okay? That's the reason Obama shut it down in 2014. So he decided to offshore the risk to China and for other reasons because the, the Chinese government is so much entwined in our government. And so you get this complete uh, mix-up of culpability. So, so he can never uh, implicate China because he paid for the Chinese lab. He, his NIH paid for the Wuhan lab, okay? So that's how convoluted this is. Just read my book.